I need a compass and I don't have one. So I'm going to attempt to make a compass out of these items here. Glue gun, a nail, ink from a pen, and a pair of scissors. Let's see how it turns out. So the idea is to take this pen ink and attach it to one side and then take this nail cut the head off and attach that to the other side but this is a pretty smooth surface and I don't think that the hot glue is going to stick to that so I'm just going to rough it up a bit take some sandpaper here and this is some old cheap Chinese made scissors got at the dollar store for a buck so I'm not concerned about surface damage here I just want to make sure that the hot glue will stick to it All right, so let's give that a shot I'm going to put this nail on first. Get the glue gun's ready. I don't know how this is going to work out. Push that down into the glue. Let it set up there for a second. And I'll put a little bit of glue over top of it. Now I turn this over. Uh, see that's a little. Oh man. Well, let's try it again. All right, here we go with attempt number two. And the nail. Get that push down on there. Put the pen ink down in there. Try to line it up with the nail. And then some more hot glue. Now my luck, that glue will be so hot, it'll melt that plastic. Still not real sure that that glue is going to stick to that metal. So 
All right, so there we have our nail and our pen and ink. We'll let that sit for a couple of minutes and we'll give it a shot. Let's say that I wanna make a three inch circle. And so these two points here obviously have to be at one and a half inches, but how do I keep that from moving? Okay, well, let me show you what I've done. I've taken a piece of wood here, a small little piece of wood, and just hot glued it into place. Now this piece of wood is about an inch and a half thick, and I say inch and a half about, uh, it's probably pretty close to an inch and a half. I don't know exactly what it is. I did do a little bit of hand planing to clean it up, but it's pretty close to an inch and a half. And so when we take our ruler here, I'm gonna try to do this the best I can with my hand here. And we'll put the two points together. see I think I don't know let me see how well you can see that you can see that that's let's see I can use this uh, use this side here that's pretty close to an inch and a half so my little inch and a half block there gets me pretty close to three inches or an inch and a half radius to make a three inch diameter let's try it out Here we go with the scissor compass experiment. Okay, I can see that the nail is having some trouble staying in place. I think that the nail is sticking out far enough. So I gotta keep a little more pressure on the nail side. Yeah, see, it, the nail's not sticking. So I gotta get that nail down in there pretty hard. Let's see what's happening. So here we have a failure. That's not gonna work. So once again, back to the drawing board. So I abandoned using the nail or trying to use the nail altogether and just took some sandpaper and sharpened this tip to a point as best I could. Let's see how that works out. All right, scissor compass experiment number two. You're gonna have to forgive me. I gotta put my hands in the way to do this. All right, let's see how we did. So this is the circle that we just drew with the scissor compass. Let's see how close we got to our three inch diameter. Okay, we're off. A sixteenth of an inch, so Either the compass moved 
I moved the compass or something happened. Let's draw another circle and see if we're truly off by a sixteenth of an inch. This time I put some cardboard underneath a piece of paper. Perhaps that will provide a little more cushion for the point of the compass to dig into. Let's try again. See, I can tell that it moved some there. It's not the easiest thing to use. It does make circles though. Well, let's see what we got. Oh my, that's worse than it was before. So, um, I think I gotta run back to the drawing board with this idea. Now that would work in a pinch, but I'm not quite so sure that that's gonna work. Create any kind of accuracy. That's not very good. So that's the scissor compass experiment. Looks like it needs to be a little more refined. Maybe this block needs to be a little bit longer or wider or whatever the case may be to make sure that this is more accurate. Um, I don't know. Uh, you tell me what you might do. Um, I'm, okay, normal folk would just go out and buy a compass, right? But hey, what's the fun in that when you can experiment and try something that you've never tried before? Now this isn't my idea. I've seen other people do this. But this was my attempt at it. So, you know, hey, if worse comes to worse and you're in a real pinch, something like this might work for you. Crazy? Probably so. Compasses are pretty cheap. So I may just bite the bullet and go buy one. But like I said, hey, what's the fun in that? You got to experiment. If you don't know, you know, you got to try. So that was my attempt. Hey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. In order to try to make the tip of the pen ink more stable, I just reassembled the pen and glued the whole thing to the scissors. So let's see how that works out. Did we achieve any better accuracy? Let's check it out here. I don't know. That's probably about as close as it's gonna get given the nature of what it is. So that's not too bad. Maybe that'll work.